Good morning and welcome to another Doughboys Donut Review. Today I come to you from Hole in One Donuts in Orleans, Massachusetts, out here on Cape Cod. And uh, this is a very popular donut shop. If you come here on the weekends, you expect to wait to get in. I uh, walk inside, they have a pretty good selection of donuts. Um, muffins, all sorts of different items there. A pretty good selection. So we've got the Raised Glazed Donut to review today, as well as their Boston Cream. It's got a nice box. We've got a couple of extra donuts for people in our in our group this week here, but we're only gonna review the two. Packaged pretty nicely. Donuts look good, they look very fresh. In the box, there's a Raised Glaze, there's a powdered lemon filled, a Boston Cream with sprinkles on it, which you don't always see and a jelly donut, which looks very lightly powdered, and a chocolate chip muffin. So we'll start off with the raised glazed. Let's see, a lot of glaze in this donut. A lot of glaze, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. As you can see, I mean, the glaze is literally falling off of the donut, but. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of glaze on there. It's very generous with the glaze. It's a big donut, medium weight. Can't say the glaze is evenly distributed. I mean, there's a lot in some areas, but if you look at the middle of the donut, it's, there's no glaze at all, but we'll see if we get that far. Going in for the first bite. That is a good a good glazed donut, an average glazed donut. The glaze is good, it's not too sweet. Um, the donut is, let's see if I can show you this. The, end of the inside of the donut has a nice, like, outer portion. I guess I'm trying to show you this. And then a nice doughy, airy middle. So, it's a nice donut. The, the middle of the donut isn't too sweet or too bland. A nice average glazed donut. If you're if you wanted a glazed donut, this would be a I, this would be a good glazed donut. I would say that you know they did just a lot of glaze in the middle of the donut. If you look right here, there's there's no glaze on that part of the donut at all. And then on the same thing on this this side here. So then you're not eating a glazed donut anymore. You're just eating a plain donut. So we'll see. Um, Boston cream donut looks good. Uh, first impressions is it feels light right off the bat. It feels very light. I can almost guarantee you on my first bite, I am not going to get any sort of Bavarian cream filling. Dry though, it's nice. It's uh, it's not greasy at all. Not greasy at all. We'll see how this goes. As I suspected. This is a very light donut. In essence, you're gonna be eating a chocolate frosted donut the majority of the time, and you'll get a little bit of Bavarian cream. Um, I mean, I'd have to eat a good part of this donut. Yeah, I mean, you can, I just, I just ripped a piece of the bottom off to try to get to Bavarian cream. As you can see, there's a, a dollop of Bavarian cream in this donut. Um, that's poor. That's poor. The people who buy a Bavarian cream donut are buying it 50% for the cream. That, that's the, that's why you buy that donut. So that's not great. Um, I'm picking up the, the jelly just to just to see if this is a trend, and it is absolutely a trend. This, this donut is very light. This is basically a piece of glaze in there. A very mediocrely uh, powdered sugar donut. As you can see, the powdered sugar is almost, again, non-existent. I mean, I could rub my finger on it and barely, <clears throat> barely get any. And it's as light as can be. This, this donut has virtually no jelly in it, I can tell you without even biting it. But it's somebody else's, so I'm not going to do that. So, 
Um, hole in one donuts. Uh, it's very popular out here on the Cape. I don't know of a lot of other donut shops out here, so that might be right. These people are so popular, but I'm going to say these donuts are the glazed donut was an average glazed donut, which was like that would be like a five. The Boston cream donut is not, and I know we're not really reviewing the jelly, but now that I have that information, it, it weighs on it. So I'm gonna say hole in one donuts is like a three. If you're a real, like a really donut fan, this is gonna be disappointing. Donuts are supposed to be fun. You know, they're not, they're supposed to have the proper amount of filling, the proper amount of frosting on them. These don't have that. So hole in one donuts is a three. A lot of hype doesn't live up to it. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe uh, if you're interested in this sort of content and uh, like and share with your friends. If you have a donut shop in your area or you've been to one that you had great donuts, please leave it in the comments. Also in the comments, leave me what your favorite donuts are. Uh, in the future, after I get done right doing these glazed and Boston creams, I'm going to go around and start hitting up different flavors of donuts and try to find the best fruit filled, the best crawler, the best eclairs, the best um, apple cider donuts in the fall. So let me know what your favorite donut is and uh, I'll, we'll see you at the next donut shop.